Hey guys, Dr. Ali here from the Two Dogs. Welcome to this week's segment, and with me is yeah, I'm Dr. Inky, yeah. and yeah. So a brief run through mm. of our podcast. Jerry is two medical doctors speaking on stuff which are Jerry done medical most mm-hmm. of the time based on our experience or something that we have actually read read recently. Mm-hmm. Right. So and um, last week we were talking about five things that you should quit mm-hmm. to make your life happier. If you want mm-hmm. to hear more about it, just rewind to our previous week's podcast. You see, we've got five great tips. Things that you should quit to make yourself happier. Yes. Right. And this week we're going to talk about something else. We're going to talk yep. about stop chasing the money. Ooh. Yeah. So have you heard of this very famous quote? Right. Money is root of all evil. Money is root of all evil. I've heard of it. Yeah. So basically, it means that that whatever evil there is in mm-hmm. the world, or all it's the all bad for money. stuff, all the best stuff that's happened because to your money. life is due to money. Hmm. All right. But it is actually wrong. Yeah. It is wrong. Yeah. Money itself, right, has no, there's has no, nothing, right? Yeah, money itself is just piece of paper yeah. or something. Yeah, there's, there, there's no group. It's like saying, there's no good or bad. It's like saying, guns are bad. Yeah, it's like saying guns are bad. Yeah. So, money itself, right, it's not good, neither is it bad. Mm. Uh, but the thing that is not good, of course, is greed. Greed. It's human greed. Absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. So, so today, we're going to tell you money is not evil. Yes. But the, the, the desire, the over yeah. desireness or the desirousness of having, oh, having <laughs> desirousness. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's such a word. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. So yeah. So the desire, the strong to, desire. Yeah. The strong desire mm, to, to obtain money, more to money. obtain more money. Right. Will lead people to do things which are that I would evil. say, yeah, morally dubious. It's evil, mm. and you will tend to actually maybe compromise your own self principle. Correct. All right. Correct. Correct. So. Um, today's topic is don't chase the money. Don't chase the money. Right. Don't chase the money. Now, so, okay. So, so um, I'm sure you've heard of a lot of like all these um, family, um, family generational stories whereby, hey, you know, um, some rich person died, and mm-hmm. now the entire family is fighting over the person's inheritance. Yeah, because that person who died left an empire of 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 inheritance, yes. property, yes, money, etc. Correct. So what happens is then that would then break up the entire family. Yes. Right? Maybe prior to that they were they, they were close. Mm. Yeah, but or or, or 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 not. But because of the, all this inheritance mm-hmm. stuff, people start fighting. Yeah. Right. People start backstabbing yeah. one another. People start forming uh uh forming forming like 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 clicks. like like clicks. Clicks. Yeah, it, political uh, political clicks. politics within yes. the family itself. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. And everyone's just trying to fight for a that larger lump, share. Yeah. That 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 particular lump of cash. Mm. And to be honest, what you mentioned is the person left left a lot of money. I've seen poor people fight over money as well. Poor people fight yeah. over what? You no, know, let's say example, someone just left left, left behind a car, right? Oh, Died okay. and left behind a car. All right. Family will still fight over it. Fight over the car. Yeah, okay. fight over that particular car. Okay. All right. So it's because human greed, all mm. right? We think that money is the most important thing. Hmm. All right. Mm. Now, the thing is, it's not about what the money can buy you, mm. all right? Very importantly, it's not about what the money can buy you, but what the money can allow you to do in the future. Correct. Example, a lot of times, a lot of people chase the money or they want money is is because, oh, you know what, with this money, I'll be able to buy a nice house, mm-hmm. you know, buy a nice car, go do on a nice good. holiday, good, do, do good, uh, do, do charity. Yeah, do charity good. is not free. Yeah, yeah. Do good, do mm. charity, you know, to- Sponsor and, a child. Yeah, sponsor a child. Mm. Or Save maybe, the planet. Yeah, or Whatever maybe, I can, you know, I get to change my job at last. All right, uh, a job which I which I truly hate. Mm. But end of the day, if you do get the money right, mm. you realize that even after you've done all those, you are still not happy. Right? Correct. Most Correct. of the time, you are still not happy. You Correct. still want to hey, I still want to make more money because mm. with more money, now I can buy a bigger house, a bigger mm. car. Mm. <laughs> mm. I can go for mm. for for a nicer holiday. Correct. Uh, now no longer I see economy class. I can see first class. Now. Th- we we've been talking about don't chase the money. We've been talking about don't be greedy. Yes, I'm gonna put to you right. Okay, Indy, something that's even more dangerous than greed. Okay, laziness. Oh yeah, laziness. Now I I had a discussion once, and and everyone says greed is the root of many evils. Mm-hmm. I sort of agree, but I sort of disagree. Mm-hmm. I think greed. But if you're hardworking, the greed makes you gives you drive. Mm-hmm. Gives you drive. You want to do it because you're greedy to, 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 to get more. You're greedy to, to, to achieve more, but you, are, you really want to do it. But laziness is worse because you want something, but you're lazy to do it. You find even more dubious ways to do it. Okay. And usually this will always come back to having money. True. When you chase the money, but you are somewhat greedy, but you are actually lazy to do it. 
True, true. Easy to that, do it. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. and and you shortcut your way, and you compromise every other aspect of of ethics. Um, you, you don't care what it takes, because you are chasing the money out of the pretext that you are actually much lazier than you are. That is true because because you don't want to put in the effort to work for it. Correct. Hence, you find. You find the ways to get shortest to, the way shortest, yeah, possible, the shortest possible with the to least get money. effort possible. Yeah, 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 and yeah, you make yeah. other people do it. Yeah, give for example. All right, if you get a contract to do a building, mm -hmm. all right, and it was worth ten million, all right, the contract was worth ten million, but you don't want to work. Okay, so you found someone else to do the contract. At, at six half the million, price, okay, all right, so about six million, all right. So now you officially did not do work; you've already pocketed four. True. Now this building that was meant for ten million, of course, they'll say they factor in the profit. Then your material costs, let's say, would have been at least six. Four was your profit. Now you've given the contract over for six. You uh, you took the four. Mm. This next fellow is going to work on a six million budget, and he's going to use materials worth which are less four uh, or three. Yeah, exactly. Your ten million building that was meant to have six million materials now only is using four to three million. Yep. True, true, true. Therefore, it's detrimental at the end of it because party A was chasing the money yeah. and they want to put in effort. Hence, when I say that laziness is actually very detrimental, especially when you're chasing the money. Yes, and and what we see nowadays is there's more and more scams coming out. Yeah. Right? A lot of these scams come out is because, again, the people behind it don't want to work for the money, but they know that other people are working hard for the money, so they're fine. They're, they're, they are looking for a way to actually get their money. And most of the times, it's true scams. True scams. Yeah. Actually, it's not the person in the back. The person in the back is greedy. He's yes. working very hard to make the person yes. in front, you as an investor, yeah. who are lazy to work. Yes. And you want to see high returns by not doing anything. Yes, yes, yes. So, end of the day, uh, when we say don't chase the money, it's because if you if your main focus, your main goal, right, mm. is just the money itself, mm. you don't find joy mm. getting there. Long-term right? joy. Long-term joy getting there. And, and what happens is, when you when you so when you're so focused on on just chasing the money, right? You end up hurting a lot of people around you mm -hmm. without 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 understanding. Ex example, mm. the building thing, you know. Yep. You end up compromising the structure the structural integrity yes. of the building. Yes. And potentially, and oh. uh, end up yeah, and collapse. Happen, yeah, you end up harming the inhabitants of the building. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're you know if someone's doing a scam, you end up hurting the people around you. Correct. Or the or or the people that you've scammed. Correct. Especially people that you know that have worked many years and work really hard and save up their their their, savings. their life savings Correct. for the money and i put to you in case a lot of times right when it comes to scam yes the person who's going to be scamming all right yeah. let's say this is the scammer yes he's actually working very hard mm. he's chasing his money but he's actually giving you the dream that you are chasing the money mm. more all True. right True. so you oh let's say me as the first person who got into this scam I'm already, you know, chasing the money. What's worse than me is when I recommend you. Ah. You see how I'm hurting him. Mm. He's only hurting one person, but I'm hurting someone closest to me, my good friend or my relatives or my family. Because I told them it works. I rope them in. And when it, when it collapses, the scam collapses, the amount of hurt. Mm. True. All because I'm chasing and then I've already convinced him to chase at the same time. So when you chase, you you have to chase with with some amount of of idea that this you have to put out work. Yes, that's right. That's right. You reciprocate what you put out is what you're gonna get. Okay. Now that's on the aspect of 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 uh, scams and and cheating people, right? Now another on the other on on the flip side is there are a lot of people, right? That focus so much on money and when they and what they. What what they do with their careers is they just focus on trying to get a bigger paycheck, mm. right? So they work really hard. Yep. Now these are the people who work really hard to yep. actually get a paycheck. Yep. But end of the day, once they actually get a paycheck, what happens is they spend so much time doing that mm -hmm. that they neglect the themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the people around them they they actually neglect themselves. Yep. And I've seen more than I mean I'm I'm sure a lot of you have 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 seen people that. Even though they have achieved so much in life, mm -hmm. they are unhealthy because yes. they've never taken the time to to go exercise. Mm -hmm. They don't eat right. Yep. All right. A lot of times they have very strained relationships with their family mm -hmm. because they don't spend much time at home. They're always in the office. Mm -hmm. you know, they're always working. Yeah. And at the end, 
end of the day, end of the day, yes, you do have a chunk of cash, mm-hmm. but you have no one to actually spend it with after that. Correct. And thinking that, you know, when you retire, when you actually eventually yeah. retire and people who chase money don't really retire, yeah. when you eventually retire, you think that's the time that you can spend with someone, but the relationship is so strained, nobody wants to spend time with you. Yes, yes, mm. yes. So, um, happened to, again, story time, huh? happened to a family friend of mine, okay. right? I, I won't say who, really wealthy guy, mm. right? Achieve a lot, a lot in life, mm. all right? Got Got, got titles from everywhere. On his deathbed, mm. when he died, mm. nobody came. Wow. All right? Nobody came. Wow. The ones, the, the people that came mm. were the office people, all right? Ah. Secretary, okay. personal assistant, okay. all right? Uh, immediate managers below him all came, right. all right? Family never None. bothered. Family's like, uh, just let me know when, when, when the, the wake is. Yeah, yeah, when the wake is. Uh. We will attend, uh. all right? So, Imagine that, you know, on his dying bed, Nobody. his family refuses to come and see him. Why? Mm. Because he has, he has, he has, he was just chasing the money mm-hmm. that he has strained all relationship with mm-hmm. the family. Mm-hmm. And even till today, you know, when you, when, when, when I, when I speak to the family, the family's like, yeah, it's lucky okay. is gone. Yeah. Lucky is gone. Wow. You know, he, lucky he, is gone. He made more problems when he was alive than, mm-hmm. than, than now when, when he's, he's, he's no longer here. So, yeah. So, so the main thing is, um, the, the, the thing that 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 one highlight is, if you focus too much on the money, you tend to neglect the people around you. Mm. And if you do that, end of the day, you really have nothing left because you can't take the money to your grave anyway. Correct. Right. You, you can't, can't take, take the money to the grave. The, the, the money is not meant for you. Yeah, the money is not meant for you. And I will tell you, or we will tell you one thing: watching your kids take the first step, saying the first words, yeah. is worth more than any money yes. that you can get. Yeah, exactly. Because when you miss it it doesn't come back with that child anymore. Correct. <laughs> you have to go find another one. Correct, correct, mm. correct. All right, so I hope you guys found this a bit somber, a bit more serious, but I think it's still a very important message that we want to put out there. Whatever you do, have a good balance. Yes, have a good balance. Have a good balance. Yes, money is not evil, but overdoing it, neglecting people around you, and not and neglecting yourself. And neglecting yourself, yes. It's probably more detrimental um, in your chase for so-called happiness yes. through money. Right, guys, hit the like button, subscribe to our podcast. We always generate every single week. We've only taken one week off from the last yeah, 100 and 100 over weeks, 15 uh. weeks, I think by now we <laughs> yeah, lost yeah, count. So yeah, we've generated every single week, some content. And if you need, if you want to hear any kind of content, just uh, yeah. send us, a uh, uh, comment yeah just comment below and we'll 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 one of the one of these days right we will take one of those comments and we'll make a video out actually we should yeah Bruce, we should Bruce, the next one bruce uh, is still waiting <laughs> the next one again okay, the next one, next, <laughs> one. next one okay we're signing off i'm dr ali here on the two docs and and i'm dr inky and have a good weekend